The ability to hit the ball softly from any speed is a skill that can be learnt and developed. We often call this taking the speed off the ball. Another way of saying it is having soft hands. Soft hands means the ability to hit the ball softly from any speed. I repeat, the ability to hit the ball softly from any speed. So let's look at a simple matrix. Now, of course, in the real world, it's not going to be as binary as this. It's not either going to be fast or soft. In fact, if you want to learn how to adjust your hitting speed, watch this video here. Link is in the text description. Now, hitting a fast shot from a soft shot is easy. Hitting a fast shot from a fast shot is easy. Hitting a soft shot from a soft shot is easy. But hitting a soft shot from a fast shot is a little bit harder. So let's see it in action. Here you can see me hitting the forehand volley. These shots are hit back quite fast. Now let's look at how I take the speed off the ball. Notice how instead of following through, I stop the racket at the moment of the impact and even move it backwards slightly and perhaps downwards. The ability to move the racket head to manipulate and control the ball is key to taking the speed off the ball. So here is one drill that helps you learn and develop that racket head control. Stand about two meters away from the front wall and hit the ball back to yourself. Then make the ball bounce on the floor. Catch it if you can. Your objective is to control the ball without adding more speed to the shot. You do this by angling the racket head and holding it still rather than trying to hit the ball. When that's easy, don't catch it anymore, but keep hitting it. Progression one, hit the ball back to yourself and then hit the ball up, not down. This takes more control because you don't use the floor to reduce the speed. I haven't shown it here, but as before, catch the ball first, and once this is easier, keep hitting it. If you want to, hit the ball a few times to get it ready for the next shot. Progression two. Move to just in front of the short line and perform the two drill variations. Hit it down first, and then hit it up. This progression is a little harder, partly because feeding the ball to yourself when you're further back takes more control, but also because the ball is moving faster. Don't rush to move on to the next progression. Practice each one until you can do it easily. Progression three, and now for the fun stuff. Hit the ball to yourself and scoop the ball. You've probably seen this done or maybe even done it yourself. Here is Rafa Nadal making it look incredibly easy. We didn't do this right near the front wall as you need to hit the ball quite hard so that it's moving in a straight line and then you don't have time to prepare. For some people, this drill takes a lot of practice. For others, it's quite easy. Don't worry if you find it difficult at first. After a few practices on different days, it should feel a little easier. Let's look at it in slow motion. Notice how I move the racket head to allow the ball to stay almost stationary on my racket. The final progression is to stand right at the back of the court. It's harder because feeding the ball requires much more power and more accuracy. Perform the same mini progressions as before. Bounce the ball down, bounce the ball up and the scoop. Here is a view from above as I scoop the ball. This 
drill is only to be performed on the forehand. I'll show you in a future video how you can do some of it on the backhand. Now, every time you go on court, do 10 or 15 of those scoops until you find it particularly easy. In future videos, I'll be showing you other drills about how you can improve your racket head control. And remember, do something every single day to improve your squash. See ya.